exposure selection refers to the digital characteristic that makes it technically possible that you yourself select how much of your digital footprint gets exposed and to whom it gets exposed. And, and this has a very long history, goes together with the internet. For example, at the first years of the World Wide Web, the most famous cartoon on the internet was this cartoon by the New Yorker, where the stock says, well, on the internet, nobody knows you're a dog. There was complete anonymity on the internet. Now, of course, living 20 years later in a post-Edward Snowden era, uh, we have a very different impression of the internet. Like in this cartoon, which shows two NSA agents, and the one says, well, our metadata analysis indicates that he's definitely a brown lab. He lives with a white and black spotted beagle mix, and I suspect they are humping right now. So they really have a real-time impression, not only if it's a dog or not, you know much more often about internet users than, than even their friends and family know, know about, because this digital footprint is so comprehensive. Now, the technical possibilities of digital information embrace both of these extremes, of complete anonymity and of complete transparency. There is no technical reason why we should live in this or in that extreme. These choices are socially constructed and we are in the process of socially constructing the right level of exposure for the right purpose. Now that doesn't change the fact that there is not a general tendency towards ever more transparency that is actually undeniable. For example, let's look at the evolution of the default privacy settings of a large social online network like Facebook. In 2005, shortly after it was founded, the default privacy setting was that only your friends were able to see your birthday and your profile data. Then two years later, uh, every other member of a network that you're also a member of could see your birthday and your profile data. They could also see who your friends are. Two years later than in 2009, by default, all other Facebook users could see how your friends are. And everybody on the entire internet could see who are your networks and they could see your name, your picture, and your gender by default. That means you could then select not to share it, but by default, that was the selection. In December 2009, then everybody on the entire internet by default could also see your likes, which kind of posts you were liking, and by 2010, then, we went to a stage that basically everything by default was available to the public internet. Now, that also went a little bit too far for many people, and there was a big outcry. So four years later, Facebook returned a little bit, and this is a different presentation, but what it shows that it backpedaled, and by default, your photos at 2014 were not anymore shared with the entire internet as were your wall posts. So actually privacy setting became stricter again. But in general, if you compare 2005 and 2014, you can see a, a clear tendency towards a default setting which aims at sharing and exposing as much as possible.